So we can use this, uh, whatever this is. I hope it won't get us too fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, but in today's video, let me take you on an interesting journey to the most interesting runway in the world. And you know what? Let's start our journey here in the Swiss Alpine Mountains. Because did you know that the Microsoft Flight Simulator has a glacier airport? You know, proper snow airports added in. Yes, for example, here, the Glacier Lombard here in the, um, I think it's French Alps, actually. Yeah, so beautiful here at 10,000 feet. And yes, we are on board a special Swiss plane. Of course, it is the Pilatus PC-6 with its skis. And we can just land on a glacier like a normal PC-6 just does. And uh, nothing to be worried about. Alright, there I go, there I go. Okay, there, okay, that's not gone well. You know what? I don't even like snow that much at all. It may be time here to do an interesting project at the Glacier Lombard Airport. It may now be time to put an asphalt runway to it. We can quickly do that here in the developer mode here. You everybody know what? Let's maybe get rid of the snow here. Maybe put a runway here into this interesting glacier. Yes, I was thinking of something like that. Absolutely beautiful. We can perhaps make it a bit longer than that looking great mm -hmm. maybe even add some markings to it that would be good like check this out absolutely beautiful runway but something we can now experiment around with the most is the terraforming you know this is a tool which we can make the runway not like this but like this does that make sense let me go ahead and just add that and this is now what i'm exactly talking about here it goes maybe add some terraforming indeed okay that is a whole lot of terraforming we've just kind of deformed the whole mountain and that is exactly what I would want to do. Yes, take out the steepest runway of the entire world. Maybe also on the other side, let's make it a bit higher. We can add multiple points to this graph. Uh-huh. And that looks very, very, very interesting now. Just playing around here. We can add, again, multiple points here. Multiple, uh, okay. That is, actually, that's going to be interesting too here. A little bit of a jump. That is a perfect runway. All right, now we can immediately spawn onto our 6,400 feet long asphalt runway once we've restarted the flight simulator. Let's maybe use a plane that might be a little bit more usable here. Um, A318, the baby bus, probably a good idea. All right, here we go. We're spawning in now into our normal airport. Which immediately lets us crouch. That's a bit strange now. Come on. Okay. All right. I've created a monster. Whatever this runway is, that is definitely the most. Like, this literally makes my flight simulator crash. It doesn't look like it used to in the SDK editor either. This is absolutely broken. Why does it look like that? That is a bit broken. <laughs> well, wow. Okay. So we've got one end of the runway that starts right there. Okay. Well, uh, that's great. And we've got the other end of the runway that starts on the other side of this mountain of the hole that we've created. I've literally created a monster a unusable monster there's no way we can land any plane here on this one and we do have this flat surface that is uh just for a single single bit here check this out right it's even got some icing on it all right there we go now we are at 36 thousand feet that's almost nothing and we can <laughs> see we've even got like contrails even we're that high that literally makes no sense this airport runway all right maybe let's come on let me do this here come on engage some sort of flying here can we go full power all right there you go we can maybe take off i think we can for sure take off this is literally a downhill road here all right there you go we're gaining speed very slowly but very good that is a very tripped up runway check this out this is absolutely perfect nothing to be worried about here okay and we're starting to actually gain speed this is actually not that bad but you know what i might have overdone this by a whole lot i didn't expect this kind of monster to be created from this all right come on let's maybe get rid of the weather here and maybe start looking at the basics again this is not what i expected here no in fact this is what i expected again this ramp why doesn't that work come on we can now here in a debug mode kind of start using our runway already check this out that is exactly what i wanted here at 30 set 2000 feet we've got a runway that looks absolutely perfect for flying if i'm being honest yep there we go this is now exactly what i wanted we can now take out Full power. Mm -hmm. The plane really is lacking power up here at 32,000 feet. That is very normal. Check out how slowly this plane flies. This is why we don't have any airports that high or any mountains that high. <laughs> yeah, it's a 10,000 meters. That's a bit tough, but come on. There we go. We can now go down the road. We need some speed because we're only at 30 knots airspeed. This plane needs 100, so we can use this, uh, whatever this is. I hope it won't get us too fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. 
There you go. That is a proper ramp. Okay. Here we go. All right. There you go. Now up. Up, 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 up. And this will lead us to... Uh... It didn't lead us to anything. I actually wanted to use it as a bit of a catapult, but that seriously hasn't worked. God damn it. We might just want to use a bigger plane. How about we use a 747? Yes, this will be a perfect airplane here for our interesting airport. You know what? While I'm thinking about it, we might just want to make this you know, proper drop here, not that steep. Yes, we can maybe change the terraforming here to a little bit of a slighter drop. That will be perfect. I think that'll be very great. I think it'll be good. There you go. Come on, let's do this now. Mm -hmm. So now it's time for a proper test here. Let's do it here on the weirdest runway of the world indeed here. So come on, this might just lead into a crash here because there's, you know. Oh yeah. Okay, it might be a bit too high. We might just want to... Okay. Yes, there we go. We are literally launched into midair, which kind of leaves us at a airspeed of zero knots, but it doesn't really matter because we do have a good old altitude of like 30,000 feet, so we will be able to save, right? There we go. Check this out. Nice. We are gaining some speed and without, you know, forcing too much Gs. There we go. We are properly flying. For some reason, the engines are dead. Yes. Here we go. Our plane properly is flying now. We are runway is perfect nothing to be worried about we might just want to get into a scenery editor because we want to make this airport a bit landable as well so let me go ahead and reduce that here and maybe make it just a proper amount of slopeness there we go that's what i'm talking about perfect terraforming yeah there you go already putting a landing gear down our runways in front of us for some reason it doesn't really do any changes to the simulator which is a bit strange why doesn't it anyway i'm pretty sure we can do it here we can land at the point here if we just go uh just uh, climb enough. Climb a lot, climb a lot, and we're gonna crash. We're gonna crash the airplane. Maybe we need another one. This is actually a perfect idea, you know, landing on the slope. We can properly land. We might just want to need a proper plane, though. I think a perfect choice for this will be the Cessna Citation CJ4. I think, genuinely, this plane has always been known for being very sturdy, very good to handle, and I think we were able to actually land here now and use this airport property for the first time. Also, the fact that it has pressurization makes it perfect for an airport port at 30,000 feet. Now we go full power here. We can make it up the mountain. I'm pretty sure. So come on. Go make sure to touch down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or I've kind of just crashed onto the runway. That made no sense. I mean, something we could attempt to do is that it can land on this side of the runway too. I think that would be a good idea. So come on, put the spoilers down, get everything going. The landing gear is down here now. Landing now on the dumbest airport of the planet. Great. But we're stalling out at this kind of altitude. This is actually the hardest part. These planes are so weak up here. They like to go full power and not, just not to die. Oh God, what kind of landing gear down? All right, there you go. All right, now stopped. That's good. Let's go ahead and stop now. Come on, let's stop now. Before, it, oh, before it goes downhill. Oh, it's going downhill. All right, come on. No more, no more flaps. No flaps. I don't want to take off again. Oh, and we're off in the air. This is literally going to lead into the crash. All right, there you go. Come on. Yeah, all right. That's been a landing. Yeah, and now it goes uphill. No works at all. And this way, we will be able to stop in no time. There we go. Check out this proper slope. That is exactly what I'm talking about. That's what I aimed for in the landing. And now it's time to go downhill once again. And this will make us kind of end up in like this endless cycle of going like in this half pipe. Or uh, unless we literally fall down. And now we're back in midair again. This is absolutely dumb of an airport. I don't really know what I did here. But everybody, again, the terraforming tool of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Isn't this great fun? Like, in theory, it looks like it's usable. But it once you spawn onto an actual airplane, it becomes very clear that it's very much unusable. Oh, okay. And there we go. We just drop off. We might just want to make it wider, too. That's not gone well at all. But everybody, thank you so much for watching this very experimental video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knotts Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.